also believe that the greatest opportunity for positive change is in lifelong learning, holistic education. I also believe that these are best achievable if we work very, very hard on unity. Reconciliation, as you heard, will not be easy. This has been said many times throughout these closing events, yet they bear repeating. At the highest levels, we need political will to move our country forward and towards reconciliation. As I mentioned, the treaties and the UN Declaration, if honored and respected, provide solutions. Reconciliation in our cities is more important than ever to all of our well-being and success and to the cost-effectiveness of public services, if nothing else. But more importantly, I think uh, um, action will be required from all orders of government, from changes to curriculum at the provincial level, which the provincial government's already committed to, which I look forward to my children being able to learn a more truthful story about the history of Indigenous people, including the injustices of residential schooling. Uh, and then obviously the most abundant action is required from the, not just the federal government. Frankly, saying Ottawa has to fix this isn't enough. Uh, the call has to come from all Canadians so that it is heard by um, all federal leaders regardless of the party and so that we can develop a national consensus to take action to uh, address particularly the, the resource gaps that exist in terms of funding to support the the health, well-being, welfare and education of Indigenous people on reserve. An acknowledgement that this actually did happen, that the effects are still being felt today, that there's an understanding now that trauma and intergenerational trauma is present and that we need to heal and help our um, Indigenous people of this country.